nice if we could just dust away in you know, winter time like, like that. It just magically happened like that. <laughs> well, we want to say happy PTL Spring Cleaning Week because today we are tackling home closets as we get the week started. Life gets so busy and it's always tough to keep your closet organized and functional during the work week and school week. So, Selena Pompiani Matheson is getting some closet inspiration. She's learning what stays, what goes, and how to keep it all in line. Hey everybody, happy spring cleaning week. So we all know that cleaning out and organizing your closet can be a yes. very daunting task, but the owners of Happy Lark Home Organizing are here to make our lives much easier. So I am here right now with Kara Hoffmeyer, and we're about to look at a standard sized yes. closet. Yes. So let's, let's open it up. All right, Kara, yeah. so this side is already looking better. I know, <laughs> we, so we grabbed a little before for everybody to kind of get a glimpse of what it standardly looks like. Everyone typically has one rod and a shelf and you kind of lose like the space because there's nothing right. below. So you tend to shove and shove up top and things just get really mismatched and messy. So we kind of highlighted here what it looks like after you do a purge, like you gotta mm -hmm. purge some of this and then getting that purge done and switching out hangers to something slim. Here, like this yeah, is not a velvet nice hanger, here. but it is a rubber hanger, which is really nice. Things like the, the fabric's not gonna rub off on your clothing, and right. it still gives you this nice clean look like a felt hanger would do. Mm -hmm. You tend to see that things get shoved in the bottom of the closet, and you really need to work with that vertical space. So right. putting in one of these alpha drawers, really maximizes. Beautiful. You could eliminate a dresser in your room, which then opens up floor space. So yeah. these are wonderful to kind of replace that that dresser for you. And I have to add, look how beautiful. Oh, you I know. Look, look how blues. nicely folded those are. And even all the colors yes. here. Having it color coordinated makes a little bit of a difference. It's too. huge, especially for like kids, even adults too. Like, you know, like, where are my blue shirts? I want to wear blue today. And you can really get in there and find it quickly. Yeah. It makes it look nice and clean and neat. It looks so good. Well, this is just a normal sized closet. Closet, yes. But I would love to see what you can do in a primary oh, yes. closet. We, a little bit bigger. We have some tips and tricks for you that we'll do in the next closet. We have moved to the primary closet, a little bit bigger than the other one. I am here with Amber Hollenbach. So you have some really cool tricks. Yeah, and we tips have some here. hanging tips for you. Um, so first off, there is a difference in hanger sizes. We have adult hangers and kid hangers, and kid hangers aren't just for kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's great for hanging women's shirts and tank tops because it won't damage or stretch out or put those little knobs on the yeah, shirt. Yeah, what a great So tip. don't be afraid to downsize to kid hangers. Also for pants, you'll see a difference here. Pants hang better on kid hangers versus grown up hangers. Mm -hmm. Another tip is to always hang your inseam in and it'll give you a nice clean look. Yeah. Um, and then now, the most fascinating one we this have blows for you my is, mind. a lot of people are short on long hang space, but you might have a lot of dresses and longer items. Mm -hmm. So you can use an extra hanger. Wow, what a great idea. Why didn't I ever think of this? And immediately save on some space and now your dress will stay nice, but it's not taking up that long space dangling on your shoes. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a quick little shoe tip for you. If you're short on space for shoes, you can get these little stackers here that put one on top of the other and you can fit double the amount of shoes on your shelf. That's great. Um, and then we also like to use for clutches and handbags, acrylic dividers. They're great to keep them stacked so they're not toppled on top of each other and all over the place and you can find them easier. So cool. Amber, I need you to come to my yes, closet Yes, anytime. Next. We'd love to. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Great ideas. I think we're all going to be ready to clean out our closets and get it all organized for the springtime. That does sound nice, it's doesn't it? It's the purge part that I think is hard. Because it's hard to like give up things. Well, especially when it comes to clothes. I, I know you and I have talked about this. Like, yeah. well, if I just lose a couple pounds, right. these oh, jeans oh, might oh, fit. Exactly. And so you don't want to give it up, especially if you yeah. feel like there's more wear I can get out of this. But that's inspiring it to is. watch like the before and the after. It's and I, it, it is my mission to one day have all the same hangers. Yes. You have this in your closet. I do, I do. <laughs> I wish that I had this. One day, one day I will. I For keep ordering <laughs> more hangers because I keep buying more clothes. For more tips and information on Happy Lark Home Organizing, visit our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.